Welcome everyone, I am Michael, your host for Judgment Day. This is the 18th episode in this podcast reading series. The prosecution has shown great patience in court by allowing the defense to floor without objection. The condemned have had their day in court. Now it is time for the writ of habeas corpus and the testimonies of witnesses for the prosecution. This is an avant-garde approach to presenting prophetic poetry. This episode is a presentation of entries 679 through 681 from Book 5, Volume 2. Be sure to download Volume 1 with Devotional Prayers and Modern Prophecies for free from polyetlotionpubs.com. Get ready for Judgment Day. Get ready for the Apocalypse. You are listening to Devotional Prayers and Modern Prophecy. I give praise to Almighty God, who is only one. I give thanks to God for Jesus Christ, the Chosen One. I accept God's true form as the Holy Spirit, and I know that God is with me. Emmanuel. The Son of Man will take the floor and speak, and all the world will be his stage. With the Lord's gracious approval already stated, he will have the powers of habeas corpus. Christ will call forth his witnesses. They will come to the courtroom of God. The rebuttal to these claims against him will be presented also in the defense of God. While it is surely God's eternal truth that the Lord need not entertain this folly, it has been the patience of Almighty God to allow the condemned this day in court. Jesus Christ was not the Son of God because God is perfection and never sins. God's laws for the conduct of his sons were broken by them in their insolence. of the righteous and truthful will be revealed in the Lamb's Book of Life. The truth about the heretics and pagans is easily found in the Book of Man. expressing my love for God, and the Lord will know I speak eternal truth. I am always subservient to the one true God. I am not worthy, but I will serve the Lord. The 
Son of Man will address this new evidence with great detail and at length, because there are many possible witnesses to be called whose testimonies will prove God's innocence. The lies within the Book of Man's New Testament have never been the true words of Almighty God, because they have always been the words of pagans. The truth about the life of Christ was tainted with many lies. The many witnesses to God's eternal truth number in the thousands among the souls of men. While there may be few alive at this time, those who know the truth lived long ago. It has become the defendant's claim against God that his creation, the one God tenderly loves, has chosen to worship Satan and his kind by practicing rituals of consuming human flesh and blood. It was never the teaching of Jesus Christ that the consumption of his flesh and blood, even in a symbolic manner with bread and wine, would be the act of forgiveness and salvation. truly merciful in his infinite patience, for the Lord has suffered long this insult of pagan heresies committed by men. God's judgment is truly just, and he hears all prayers. The Son of Man continues his initial statements and presents to the Lord his Lamb's Book of Life. In it are the names of the truly faithful, and none of them have blasphemed Almighty God. All of these names in this book, Your Honor, are those whom I wish to call forth to testify. By this writ of habeas corpus you have signed, I ask that they be brought here to heaven. In this courtroom before God Almighty the One, the many names of these saints among men will be called one by one to take the stand, and all of them will swear to tell the truth. There will be none among these names called who will say that God is guilty of any crime. All of them have refused the lies of Satan and rejected the lies of pagan Catholicism. There were 
thousands of people on earth who lived in the time of Jesus Christ. Many of them knew the truth of his birth, and none of them have ever heard the pagan lie. Well, this concludes episode 18 of Judgment Day. The subtitle for this segment was Habeas Corpus. The Son of Man is only just beginning in his presentation for the prosecution. He will defend the victims of these multiple crimes, and God's wrath and justice will prevail. Sinners will protest on the whole in general, but the souls of the non-repentant will burn in hell. Jesus Christ will resurrect his first witness, and all emotions will be evoked in this. Be sure to subscribe for notifications of the next release. You don't want to miss any of these episodes. Thank you for listening. I am Michael.